so you want to learn how to make infinite void in minecraft well today's the video that you have all or a lot of you have been waiting for commands are multiplayer compatible and maybe laggy for lower end devices but they should be working so without further ado i'll show you how the whole thing works and for this for this tutorial i'll be dropping the world download because this one's a bit of a doozy and i'll be dropping the commands as well if you want to try it in your own worlds so what I have here is a, um, it's the structure saver, right? So this command block, it has an armor stand in the middle, right here. That when it when this button's pushed, it'll save the entire build. And you have to measure out the build block by block, X and Z, and Y, and all that jazz. And you press it every time so it works. But you can probably save it to your storage too. But I just have to save to the memory, as you can see at the end here so that it doesn't take up space physically when I leave the game. And the only caveat is that you're gonna have to press that button every time you wanna use it. So we can start right, so you can start right here. So as you can see, this is the central command block where all the commands sp like spin off from. Right here we have execute as a tag equals gojo, has item equals echo shard, is the page equals slot that weapon up main hand, at at s position, tilde tilde 1.5, unless entity as dx equals zero. Run camera at s set minecraft free 3.5 in our quad carrot 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 one facing at e tag equals gojo comma c1 so this basically does is it sets your camera to follow the nearest person with the tag gojo so you have that little cutscene right there it's the part that does the little out part and so what you're gonna see later is you have an, arm, an invisible armor stand right here. This is invisible that saves the land around you and keeps it going. So next we have these command blocks right here. So this command block, what it essentially does is two takes afterwards. It'll say it'll make the domain expansion thing. You have three ticks, four ticks, five ticks after. Clears the camera. Has another one. It does. It summons the armor stand. It's called it Infinite Void Handler. It's abbreviated Inf VD Handler. It summons it on you, and that's the armor stand that saves it. So, in this little tiny fraction of a second, or however much. So what? We have one tick, two tick, three tick, four tick, five tick, six tick, seven ticks, eight ticks, nine ticks, ten ticks, eleven ticks. Now ten ticks. Within ten ticks or half a second, you have all that stuff going on. This. It's tiled land saver. Uh, this runs. So if you ever want to save land, execute at E infinite void handler type equals armor stand. So any armor stand named infinite void handler, it'll run structure save restore. Let's save restore because that's the name I named it to. It'll save this area, which is one block bigger in every dimension, to the memory, so that it can be you know used to patch it back up later. And this. We'll have the camera shake when the domain is forming. This loads the infinite void structure that I built over here, which is what is copied. And over in this section, we have the other stuff. So this gives the night vision. This is kind of like a buffer to show that it's working. It's not really necessary. This affects all the entities. So this is slowness. This is blindness. This is the mining fatigue that you get. Right here, this is the Thing that like, brings your camera in when the infinite void is forming. This is the beacon sound that plays, and these are the things that make it so that if you're in survival, armor stand does not immediately die. What if you accidentally tap it? So your you know void won't be permanently up. This right here kills the armor stand so that nothing else happens and it won't restore multiple things. This loads the restore at the end. This right here makes the screen white. Little white flash right there when you're going from third to first. And this is the glass breaking when it breaks. So we have all the commands. Commands will be in description by the not description. The commands will be in the comments section. And thank you guys for watching. See y'all in the next one.